all right friends now let us start with question number 37 and it says that uh, this is from uh, heat and mass transfer uh, learned parameter analysis a metal ball of diameter 60 mm is initially at 220 degrees celsius the ball is suddenly cooled by an air jet of 20 degrees celsius the heat transfer coefficient is 200 watt per meter square kelvin the specific heat the thermal conductivity and the density of the metal ball are 400 joule per kg kelvin 400 watt per meter kelvin and 9000 kg per meter cube respectively the ball temperature after 90 seconds will be approximately you have to find out that right so it's pretty simple actually this is question number 37 and uh, in love parameter analysis you know uh, what is the formula it is actually T minus T A divided by T I minus T A where T is the temperature that you need to find out and T A is the temperature of the you know of the atmosphere all right so we are going to continue our discussion now and uh, the equation you know for long parameter analysis it's T minus T A divided by T I minus T A and uh, it is equal to exponential of minus H A by rho V C into tau. Yeah. And what is T? The T is the temperature that uh, we need to determine and T A is the ambient temperature, T I is the initial temperature, exponential of minus H A, everything contains their original the regular meaning, right? Yeah. Now let us put down the values. So the temperature that we need to determine is still unknown but the ambient temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and the initial temperature of the ball was 220 degrees Celsius and the ambient temperature is again 20 and uh, exponential minus H, H is the temperature, uh, the, uh, you know, its value is given to you as 200 watt per meter square Kelvin, the heat transfer coefficient, it is 200. And what is area? Area of the uh, ball is 4 pi r square, right? Or uh, simply you can you can do one thing that the area and volume, you can take their ratio and area by volume. So area is 4 pi r square, whereas volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So let us simplify it for, uh, a little bit and then we will put down the values, right? And r square and this got cancelled. So you will see that it is it comes around 3 by r, right? And what is r? r is nothing but d by 2. So, uh, yes, that's all. 3 by, and what is d? d is, okay. what is r? It is going to be 30 mm, right? So that's all. So, 30 into 10 to the power minus 3, converting into meters. Yeah. So, it will be 3 divided by 30 into 10 to the power minus 3. And uh, what is uh, rho? Rho is density and its value is given to you as uh, it's uh, 9000, right? It's 9000, 9000 and uh, C, the value of C is given to you as the specific heat is 400 joule per kg Kelvin. So it is 1 by 400 and tau, tau is time, so it is 90 seconds, that's all. So I am going to rub this now, like this, right? So I think we have uh, covered everything, uh, 200 is H A by V, density C and light. Yeah, that's all. Now after solving all these things, what do we get? Let us see, let us calculate first. So, I am getting e to the power minus 0.5 after solving everything, okay. And uh, here I get t minus 20 divided by 220, so it is going to be 200 and e to the power minus 0.5 is, is 0.60653 and uh, so from here you will get t value of t as So I'm getting 141.3 degrees Celsius because we did not convert it into Kelvin over here, so it is going to be in degrees Celsius. 
and uh, let us check. Yes, it's 141.3 degrees Celsius, which is option A, right? So this is how you are going to solve this uh, problem, right?